Welcome, so here's how you can set up an automatic Wix blog with AI. This is how the articles look like, by the way, this is all done with AI from the featured image, right, to the whole content, right, the in-article images. There's internal links, external links, there's even in-article videos that are relevant to what the content is about. Links here to our site, links to external sources. Again, all this done with AI. None of this is random, right? This article is about gardening tips in arid soils, right? There's of course a table of contents in the video inserted right here is about tips for desert gardening. Even the images, it's all done with AI with some thought process in mind, okay? Now, this is all the articles look like. Now, I wanna show you how to actually produce them and then how to automate the whole process, okay? Because the whole goal of this video is to show you how you can automate your blog, right? So you don't have to touch it, right? And what you do here is of course, the very first step is you go and create a new integration and choose Wix. Now, this is done, I'll leave a link down in the description. You just go to tryjones.com, log in, it's free, right? Click integrations, click new integration, then click Wix. Now, just name it wherever you want, just go my Wix site, then just add your site ID, your API key, and select the author. Now, this is super easy to do. If you have any questions, just watch the tutorial, it's like 30 seconds long, I think. It's just log into your Wix and just paste this stuff right here, okay, and then hit create. That's that simple, right? So then when you actually go out and produce the articles, for example, this one that I just did a couple minutes ago about gardening, right? Depends, of course, on what your niche is. I can go here, I can open it up as such. I can just click here and then I can just click push to my integration, click publish. Now I'd, I'd select my week site right here and hit publish. And this whole article with the links, with the videos should be automatically published to my week site. Now, I'm gonna show you how to do this automatically. Before that, do though, though, let me just show you first one thing that, yes, this was done with AI, but if for some reason you wanna edit the output, you can. So just click there, edit with AI, and then you can do a lot of things. For example, let's say here, I wanna add a few links here. I feel like there's not enough links here. I click add links, and then the AI will read the whole article and find the most relevant places to add links to. Boom, there you go. Now, of course, yes, you can do this manually, but why would you, and could you use AI to do it for you? Let's say, for example, you don't really like this image. You can just say, um, add a dog. Right, I mean, it's of course just a, a bit of a joke, but you can change the images with AI and you will take it again, you take the whole context of the article as a whole. You won't just add a dog. You will add a dog to this certain scene with an arid desert taking account the gardening aspect of the, of the article into account. There you go, there's a dog there in a garden, in an arid garden. This is all AI, by the way, it looks real, but this is all AI. Then you can accept or decline and the image will change. Let's say, for example, you don't like this, maybe this is too big of a wall of text, you can just say, uh, make this a list, and the AI will make this a list. Now you can accept or discard the change, let's just do discard right now. You can, for example, put things into a table form. Maybe you think your, your users read the info better in tables form, boom, there you go, accept, right? You can say, for example, ah, this is a bit too short, make it longer, make it shorter. You can rewrite it, you can add even your custom prompts. Write this tailored for beginner gardeners, right? Whichever your niche is, or write this as a part. You can, I mean, you can, you can add custom prompts and do whatever you want. Let's say, for example, you're doing some SEO optimizations and you feel like you wanna add and sprinkle in some of your keywords here, just select the text and say, okay, add the keyword gardening for beginners, add the keyword, let's say you have a product, so product, so you're just gonna be recommending your product right here. So, I mean, there's endless things you can do with the editor. So with the, this AI right here, not only generates and publishes, but it also allows you to edit the content by leveraging AI, okay? Now, moving back to the, the, the beginning of the video, once you have your integration set up, so once you have your Wix site connected right here, which again, super easy, click create integration, select Wix, just set this up. Again, if you have any questions, just click here, watch the tutorial. And it's a, yeah, it's a two minute video, like step-by-step step on how to do it, super simple, it should take you like less than two minutes, okay? Once that's set up, all right, you, what you do is you go to publication, excuse me, you go to uh, feeds, right? Hit create new feed, right? And we're gonna set up a keyword feed. Now there's multiple feeds you can set up and what a feed is essentially is you're gonna be setting up an automatic blog, right? A blog that you essentially connect RAI right here with your Wix site and every day, month, week, whatever, right? It generates the content, then it automatically publishes it to your site. So it'll be publishing all these blog posts to your site. Now there's a bunch more stuff you can do like automatic indexing, it also does indexing for you. It also allows you to like, once a post is published to your site, it can syndicate it automatically to your social media platforms like LinkedIn, uh, Twitter, which is now called X, and Facebook, okay, right? This is done through the social media, but I, I won't cover this right now, right? But this is what it does. And so you need a feed, so you need to know, okay, you need to tell the AI, how do I know what I'm gonna be writing about, okay? And so we can create multiple feeds, one of them being, for example, a feed on a YouTube channel. So if you wanna write blog posts on autopilot, taking the content from a YouTube channel, right? Let's say, for example, again, keeping with the same example, let's say you have a gardening gardening site, okay? Let's go in here and find 
a, a uh, YouTube channel that talks about gardening, okay? This guy right here. What you can do is you can just copy his channel URL, right? That talks about gardening, like a bunch of these flowers, or whatever. This is great videos with a lot of information because they're super long. You can take this, right? And then have journalists AI publish, excuse me, write articles about his content and publish it straight to your article, to your uh, uh, Wix site. You can just do this, a channel URL, there you go, create feed, right? But let's just do a keyword feed for now, okay? You can do RSS feeds, news feeds, so you can write articles based on news, but let's just do a keyword feed right now. So let's just do uh, my gardening site, okay? Website URL, let's just say this is my site right here. Let's just choose our main keyword, let's just do gardening tips, okay? Uh, I won't do competitors right now, let's just do US and let's do English. Hey, let's hit create feed, okay? Again, what we're doing here is we're creating a feed so that we can have a blog running on autopilot. So the it's essentially an auto blog that's doing auto blogging with AI automatically generating and po posting articles to your Wix site. Okay. Now this takes a few seconds to load. So let me just wait a few seconds for this to populate here the keywords and I'll be back once it has. Okay, there you go. So as you can see, this is all the keywords. Gardening supplies near me, care of planting distance. So all this stuff is related with gardening, okay? So now we have all these keywords and this will give us new keywords. So every week, this feed will be refreshed with new keywords, okay? So your autoblog can be running on autopilot forever, right? So what we do then is go here to campaigns and autoblogs, hit new campaign. Let's call this gardening or gardening campaign, and then enable autoblog. Then we can choose the mode in which you want the autoblog to run. You can do fully automatic, which takes in the info from the feed, it generates and it publishes. We can do automation re with review, so it takes in the info from the feed, it generates and then it asks us, hey listen, do you wanna publish this? So it has like a manual step in between, so you, you as a human would manually approve which ones you want. Then we also have the plan automation mode, which doesn't isn't based off of a feed, so isn't based off of an automation, Right, but it also but it does generate and publish the content, but you have to feed it manually what you want it to publish about. But right now you'll choose the full automation mode and hit continue. Right. And then of course you choose your feed, which is my gardening site feed. Your integration should be your Wix site. And then of course you can also choose if you want to publish social media, right? Then you choose how many articles you want to push out every day, right? And then just say, for example, 10, 10 a day, or for example, um, five a week, so one per day. Okay. I mean you can do as many as you want, but I'd recommend you to do five, okay? And then hit create. And once this is done, this is live, right? The AI is gonna be pumping out articles, in this case one a week, generating and publishing them to your site about gardening every single day. That's it, super simple. There's a bit more of an advanced feature right here. Let's say, for example, you wanna like tell it, hey, listen, um, I wanna make sure that the articles that go out have a certain configuration. So you can configure your article. So if you wanna add videos from a certain channel, you can right here. If you don't wanna add videos, just don't add videos, right? If you wanna add images, how many images per article you want? Let's do four. You want AI images, you want stock photos, you're on your own custom images, you can even prompt them if you like. You can set up external linking, you can check, exclude some, some competitor sites or include some sources. You can set up internal linking, so just add your site here. And when the articles are, are being posted out, right, they'll link out to other blog posts of yours, to your homepage, your contacts page, your products page, right? You can set up the structure, you can do a bunch of stuff right here like the article length, right? You can change a lot of things around. It's like the language, it's the state, the tone of voice, point of view. There's even advanced options and you can do a lot of things with this, okay? The point is that you have you can have it automatically publishing articles to your site, to your Wix site, excuse me, on autopilot. So yeah, that's it. If you have any questions, let me know. And if you wanna grab a paid subscription of this software, Journal CI, please first go to help, click contact support and ask the guys for a coupon code and they'll hook you up with the coupon code. Thanks so much for watching. I'll catch you on the next one. Cheers.